<sighs> Shalom Yasharala. Y'all guessed it. It's Yashai coming back at y'all with another Car Chronicle. I'm going to try to make this one short. Because in all honesty, this shouldn't be a, a profound topic. But, uh, you know, a lot of y'all are weird for coming at brothers trying to tell them who their friends should be. Because I have friends that are in other camps that have other doctrines and stuff. Which, you know, I... I understand other doctrines because I came from there. You know, when I came into the truth, you know, I didn't I didn't come into truth through a church that taught that Cornelius was Jake. I didn't come into the truth through a camp that taught the Sabbath is off the is based on the new moon. You know, so even I got it in stages. Um, so, you know, people say, oh, how could you be cool with Alizar? How could you be cool with, uh, with Priest Danyala? How could you be cool with, um, Tazariak? You know, I'm not saying I've gotten, I've gotten these particular questions, but I've seen brothers have, uh, a negative opinion about my friendships with these individuals. Well, I'll tell you, Danielle has been my friend for over 20 years. tazariak has been my friend for over 10 years. Um, who else? Who else? Uh, a lot of these men. Um, there, there's two Ephraimites in Danielle's camp, Hot Lions of Israel, that I love to death. And you're not gonna tell me that they ain't gonna be my motherfucking brothers. fuck around and, and catch an ass whooping over that them two dudes was there for me when when very few people were there for me in Israel very few Israelites were there for me like them two was and they weren't even part of my church because they we, we don't do the get the camp banging thing Alizar I, I'd say he's around five years the the you know friendship you know, um, and I don't deal with the, I don't deal with the, you know, the, the doctrines with them, you know, the differences, you know, Alizar just, just last week destroyed Garfield with the, t the 12 tribes breakdown and arguably, arguably that breakdown that, that Alizar did was one of the best ever 12 tribes breakdowns that I've ever seen. And y'all know me, I've seen them all. I've seen the I've seen some of the best ones on VHS. Show y'all how old I am. So, I don't want to hear no bullshit about you know, oh, how could you be cool with these men with these doctrines? First off, if you look at what they teach, I would say out of all former One West camps, and you and you factor in the ones that I'm cool because I'm not cool with with people from all former One West camps. Like I don't I don't have any friends in IUIC or uh, you know so IUIC uh, GOCC. I don't have any friends there. So the only at, at worst. At worst, you're going to have maybe a 10%, maybe less than that difference. Because these brothers hate Esau. You know, they uh, they teach the so-called black, Hispanics, Native Americans, or the Israelites. So, they, they 90, 90 something percent of what they teach is what we teach. You know, um, I'm not going to knock them for a difference here, a difference there. I'm going to disagree with the difference. I'm going to prove it wrong. But I'm not going to, you know, it's not personal, man. We make doctrine personal. Like as if brothers mean to do bad things. Like if, like as if Daniela, like Daniela believes that it's okay to teach with a hat. So you think that he would purposely dishonor Yahweh's while going to camp. 
purposely now. I'm saying purposely. Like he knows that teaching what I had is wrong, but he still does it. You think that that's that he's that fucking stupid being in the truth about 30 years? Obviously, obviously, you know, he sees something in the scriptures that he feels justifies it, which I've talked to him about. I still don't agree with it, but at the end of the day, that brother's been a brother to me for a long time. You know, um, to Zaryak, you know, real down to earth, real cool brother. Uh, who else? So a lot of brothers, there's a lot of brothers in these other camps, man, that are, that are good men. You know, I'm secure in what I believe in that I feel I can go around those men and it's not going to compromise my faith. I'm still going to believe what I believe in, you know, no matter how much I hang out with these men or, or I'm cool with them. And you know what? Also, the brother Daniela, just yesterday I got up with him, you know, because I was picking up a... Uh, a flash disk with PowerPoints full of in historical information. That's going to benefit us because I'm going to put that information out, you know? Um, and it's information that we can all agree with. It's so it's, it's historical, you know? But if, if, if I were in the spirit that you guys were in, I would never get that information. I would have to study it, which is fine. You know, studying is great, but you know what? If you have, uh, somebody that has, you know, that information already organized carefully and will, and is willing to give it to you for free, you know, how, how can I knock that? How can I have a spirit of, of being against a brother like that? I'm against the doctrine, but we, we put faces to doctrines. You know, for instance, if I tell you, if I put up, if I put up a poster of the doctrine of Cornelius being an Edomite, what face are you going to see? Zabak? You know, if I put out the, my, the MOTB is not the, the grain of rice, what are you going to see a picture of Tazariak? You know, you, you know, it's, it's like, what the hell, man? You know, we, we have to grow up and mature and learn to understand that we are a nation. Yes, we are a, an imperfect nation. It's not going to be perfect, but you know what? When I walk past the Hebrew brother, I'm going to say Shalom. You know, unless I feel that they're going to be, you know, assholes. You know, like comfy enough. They will not Shalom you. They will not salute you. Unless maybe they change now after comfy passed away. But other than that, they, they will not salute you. They will not. They, they, they are not cool with you. The only way that, they, that you mean anything to them in their life is if you're willing to join them you know some of them are genuine because there's going to be elect coming out of all these major camps all, all the there's going to be minor camps that are going to have elect in them you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna allow you know other you know these beefs that have been stewing for 20 30 years to stop me from being friends with genuine brothers that i see are genuine a lot of y'all know them on youtube and only youtube to Zaryak's from Jersey. I know him personally. You know, Guerrilla Hebrew, I can't say I know him, like, personally. Like, like you know, I've seen him in person one time. Every interaction I've ever had with him has been cool. You know? I don't deal with, with, with I don't go into, oh, I disagree with you about, I already know where brothers stand. But you know what? I also look at the content of the brother's character. There's a lot of people that believe exactly, identically what I believe, that are fucking, you know, no, I'll just, I won't call them names. I'll just say they're no good for me. Just recently, I went at it with, with a camp, you know, not even the whole camp. Two, two dudes hate me, hate me, but they believe in my doctrine. Same thing, same doctrine. But Daniela, you know, saying loves me enough to, to, to buy a flash drive, put information on there for me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know. Loves me enough to invite me to every every Lions of Israel cookout. You know, I I, I think it'd be just me, AOC, which are another group of brothers that I, that I love. You ain't going to fucking tell me that I can't be cool with AOC. Those brothers are some of the coolest brothers I've ever met in the truth. So all that camp banging, all that, 
you know, oh, they believe this. I don't, listen, I care. I, I, I love all of these, uh, all of these brothers. But I, you know, of course, you got to love the Most High and Yahweh Shah more. But you know what? I see that these brothers love the Most High and Yahweh Shah. I don't care what y'all think. Y'all see them on YouTube. I see them in person. I don't hung out with members of AOC in Atlantic City, man. Atlantic City, chilled out in person with them. You know, and I know these dudes. They, 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 they're serious about what they do. They're serious about the Lord, man. You know, they, they, they believe slightly differently. Which, you know, again, I'm not gonna go and agree with the differences. You know, but the the spirit, you know, that I see on these men. You know, I love these men. Like these men are, are all about brotherhood. The ones that I'm talking about, AOC, Lions of Israel. Those are some of the most coolest, most brotherliest brothers you ever gonna see, man. Alizar, I have no problem with it, no personal problem with Alizar. You know, we have a difference in 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 belief. You know, and I'll be honest with you, I have to ask other brothers what is the difference because I've never heard Alizar teach no crazy shit. I've never heard it myself. But disclaimer, I don't really watch a lot of you know, videos of, of, you know, brothers teaching what, what, you know, I watched his debate where he sliced and diced Garfield and I learned from it, by the way. So, you know, you guys that are closed minded, you're not going to get better. You're not going to learn. You're closed minded and you just want to be around your, you know, brothers that believe 100% what you believe. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. I can hang around brothers and, and fellowship with brothers that are not you know, they're in the faith. They believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, they, they just have some, one brother might believe that you can teach with a hat on. Another brother might believe, and by the way, I'm not praying or prophesying. That's why I have my hat on. Because you got assholes that watch my videos and say some shit too. But, um, but yeah, man. You got, uh, you got brothers that don't believe in the Israelite foreigners. You got brothers that believe the Friday, sundown, Saturday, sundown, Sabbath. You know, you got brothers that believe in, in a lot of slight, I'm going to call them slight different things. At the end of the day, are they keeping a Sabbath that they, they believe is a Sabbath? Yes. Are, are the brothers that teach what I had on purposefully dishonoring their head? No. They're not, they're not, it's not like, oh, I'm going to dishonor the Lord. Dumbass. A man that's in the truth 30 years purposely dishonoring the Lord, still going to camp and, and teaching, you think that that's, I don't think that's right, but he doesn't think that's wrong. But you know what? He's still a good brother. He's He's been a great brother to me. You know, like I said, man, there's two Ephraimites in his camp. They was there for me when, when hardly anybody else was there for me. But because they're in a different camp, fuck them? Nah, never that. Never that by no means. Them dudes is you know what I'm saying I'm if 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 I die on this side, I'm gonna die with those brothers being my brothers, man. You know fuck all that other, you know, listen. Y'all think small and y'all gonna y'all gonna spiritually stay small. I'm thinking big. I'm thinking salvation. I'm thinking getting this information, getting more information, and putting it out there. You know, I'm thinking, you know, te te you know, just just better communication and brotherhood between camps. We're the only ones that's like that, man. You know, Muslims, Islam, they have a government. They might have warring factions, but you know what? They have a sense of of a nationhood. You know, all other all other groups have a sense of nationhood. We're the only ones. We're we're like the fucking Bloods and Crips. You know you got bloods that'll fight bloods. I used to I used to live on a block on the very next corner from where I lived at. You know, this is a high end spruce for those that's from north. Three different blood sets were fighting over one corner. They're all blood. What the fuck, man? All of them was blood. They was fighting over the same fucking corner. That's how Israelites are. That's how it's, you know, oh, you're teaching in my spot, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, listen, at the end of the day, you know, we have the same 12 tribe sign. 
most of what we teach is the same. If somebody comes back and says, hey, the guys that were here were teaching Cornelius is 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 a uh, is is black. Now y'all saying he, you know, okay, but what are we going to do? Are we going to physically remove those men from the corner? All we're going to do is is make a stupid YouTube video arguing back and forth that's going to make us look even worse. Up. You know, so I don't do all that camp banging shit, man. If I see a camp in my spot. I'm going to try to talk to the leader be like, look, bro, we've been here forever. If they if they refuse to move, fuck it. We'll, we'll find them. There are no shortage of places to teach. I'm not going to sit here and fight over a spot. The early bird gets the worm. Fuck it. Next week, let's get there earlier. That's it. You know, simplify. You know, be, be able to... to do conflict resolution. A lot of us can't do that. But you know what? That's it, man. I'm not going to take up too much time. Shalom.